All right, let's see how this goes. So, uh, I've never done a YouTube live video before, but I am doing one now, and we are going to go through a bunch of random cars. I'm going to try not to hit the table. So, I don't see anybody who's joined. So, I'm just going to go ahead and make the video, and you, you guys can join later. So, let's see how this goes. I see one person, a couple of people are watching. So I'm going over some Hot Wheels. I was going to do this on Instagram Live just a few minutes ago. Uh, but I've never done a YouTube Live video. So I figured I'd just go come on over here. So a bunch of random cars. I am going to pick this. Ah, hello. How you doing there? Mark. John Mark. Gene Mark. John, I hope I'm, I'm probably butchering that. I've got Mark right. Anyways, so let's check these out. So this is a uh, RLC car, uh, Series 5. This is from a long time ago. I'm not even sure if this is going to tell me when. But there was only 11,000 of these. This is number 2578. And uh, I was going to take them out of the protector packs but i've got a lot to review and so i didn't really want to do all that so i hope i didn't butcher your name too bad to where you left you can come back and watch this video later i guess but anyways that's that one and that yeah, right <clears throat> so now back when the memberships used to have four different cars so if you got the red one, so they always did like red, chrome, blue, and purple. So if you get the red one, this is from 2013, Copo Camaro 68. This one's done in red. And so the red was your more limited production, 3,500, 3,474. I barely made it on this one. So there's that. If you want to pause the video, you can see what that is. Red Line Club membership. I am going to, most of these are going back into a tote, but I am going to hang this, this one back up in my closet. So let me get this ready here. I'm going to do this. So let's go ahead and go with the second one. So this is the chrome one, the red one. Remember, 3,500. This is the uh, chrome casting of the same car. Really nice details. With the painted tail lights, painted marker lights in the front, headlights, red line wheels. Comes with the little button. This is the chrome. So the red was 3,500. This one. Oh wow! Look at this one. 3,000. Okay. Oh, maybe the chrome was the first one. Yes, this is live nitrous die cast. At least I think it is. I've never done a YouTube video live, so hopefully I'll see your comments. But yeah, it should be live. Hopefully. So I just showed the red one. I thought the red one was first, but I guess it's the chrome first, then the red. This is 3,500 of these made, 3,000 of the chrome. Well, hello to you also. This is the blue one. So this is back when the membership cars, you could get four different ones back in the day. So now they're doing one club car per year. This was 2013, so this a while back, eight years ago. This one's 4,000. Of these made. This is number. Well, thank you. Yeah. I'll... Okay, I go way back on the Redline Club membership cars. Uh, when it. Uh, no. None of these are for sale. Not that I know of. Not yet, anyways. Uh, purple. And then this one should be about 4,500. Yep, 4,500 of these. So they went up in production 500 each. So 3,000, 3,500, and 5,000. I mean, 4,500. 
here is this year's, not this year, but uh, 2014. This was the year after the Copo Camaro, the drag dairy. I'm a bit huge dairy delivery fan. I would show you up there, but uh, I got a bunch of junk in my room right now. Anyways, this is the chrome one. Uh, I will be opening these at some point, uh, seven years later, and I still haven't, but uh, I do have... I've opened a few of my RSA. Do you open? Oh, yeah. So I open a bunch of stuff. So if you want, I can show you real quick. Let me show you. I got to move this table over. Hopefully half these cars don't fall off the table. So if you want to hold on just a second, I will show you that I open. If you go to uh, Instagram and look up the Master Loafer, you'll see a bunch of these photos. But, uh, yeah, I've got, like, drag dairies. I've got some... There's a Red Line Club membership. Convoy Custom. Some up there at the very top. A couple of Camaros. And then I've got a bunch of original real riders from the 80s. If you look in my old YouTube videos, you'll see where I've opened... All these were blister pulls. So these original real riders, I open most everything uh, except doubles. Just right now, I just don't have the extra room. I've got one of, an extra one of these cases. Uh, there's a Silverado. There's that Silverado there. And then I got the Moon Eye Dairy Deliveries, both versions, yellow top, white top, a couple of custom. Dairy Deliveries. Like I said, Dairy Delivery is one of my favorite castings. We're going to move over. Since you wanted to see RLC cars. Ooh, 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 ooh. There, there's a couple of them down there. A uh, couple of drag buses. I'm a huge 57 Chevy fan. Uh, so I've got a bunch of those. Uh, I do have Red Lion Club cars. That's like one of the first ones. That's the black stripe. Uh, yeah, I open stuff all the time. And then this, you know, it's a messy in here. This is my third case. Uh, got some cars there. I got cars everywhere. Uh, yeah, I'm fixing to open a bunch of these square bodies so I can, I've got a bunch of square bodies. Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of Texas drive them trucks, Ford trucks. Is that Reese's Pieces? But I've got so many cars, I, I, I could f easily fill up 10 more of these cases right here the wall displays easily i uh, just took these trucks down from this empty spot to the left right there i want to hang the four that I, those eight cars i just showed you guys i'm fixing to hang those i got a bunch of junk in here and here we go i mean yeah yeah bunch of junk bbs all these totes used to be in my Hot Wheels room. I no longer have the Hot Wheels room at this time. So they will be going back at some point. No big hurry. Anyways, yes, so I am an opener. I do have right now 133, yeah, 133 jammers, 48 cars a piece filled. And uh, we got two of the old 48 car cases filled. So 48 times really 135. Plus my wall displays are just some of my loose cars. Anyways, there's the chrome drag dairy. And then we have the red one. So I'm really happy that these fit in those wall displays. Barely, but they fit. And then uh, 
This one's uh, 3500 for this one. I didn't even look at the number. 895. Not too bad. Not really a numbers person. These are going to eventually get opened anyway someday, so the numbers don't matter to me. Uh, here's your blue drag dairy. I keep wanting to say delivery after the word uh, drag or the dairy. Dairy delivery. There's the blue one. Here we go with the purple one. So these are the spots that I just made in my closet for these eight uh, Copos and the uh, Camaros. So let me get these down here real quick. Make some room on this table. And then I haven't left. I haven't went nowhere. Take care. Oh, thank you. You, uh, you have a great evening also. Thanks for dropping by. Here we have uh, the Brazil Convention, 2010. This, I got two of these. I opened one of them, and this one's signed from Philip Brahman, the one who uh, uh, designed the drag dairy. Or not drag dairy, the drag bus, Volkswagen drag bus, back in 1996 when the first edition came out. I do, I do have a low number in this one. There's 5,000. I got number 11. So, I forget what the other number was, but I opened it. It was it was higher than this one, much higher actually. Uh, I think I I've got a video on YouTube where I shredded, I put this card in a shredder, and uh, that's how the first one got opened. So if you look up that, you'll see me opening this with a shredder. Anyways, that's a nice little bus. I'm putting them back in my little thing here and we got this one not all of these are rlc but i got this one oh four to econo line it's got some wide tires in the back all the little skinny runners up front anyways pretty cool looking truck and this is from the gas monkey inspired uh casting so if you want to pause the video, there's a little story about it right there. This is number 6788 of 12,000. There's that. All right. Let's go with this one. This is a cool one. Volkswagen T1 Rockster. This one's pretty sharp. We got this one in pink also somewhere not sure where it's at it does have the real rider tires on it all metal spectra flame paint another nice piece from hotwheelscollectors.com number 39.99 of 7,000 so there's that one and yep that one will be opened at some point too so let's go with this one another this is from the Neo Classic series. And I've got some dust on this stuff. I had a lot more drag buses, but I got rid of them uh, a while back because I just I just kept the ones that were uh, sent to me by friends. And uh, uh, the ones that I do miss getting rid of are the, uh, when they came out with the fire truck, the police, the taxi, and the military police uh, drag buses for the memberships, I had all four of them. And I sewed those with all of my other buses. And I do regret that, for sure. Because I'll never buy those again. They're uh, too much too much money. They're, they're up there. So, yeah, those won't get bought again, but that's all right. So this was a uh, J.C. Whitney bug that I actually drilled apart. No, actually, I took the J.C. Whitney bug out of here, took this one. This was like a regular, had some graphics on it. I forget what it was. It was white. So I dyed it a different color and then took these wheels off of a birthday 
Corvette. Uh, I can't remember which one it was. It's not been put back together. It's just, I drilled it apart. I dyed the body of it green, kind of a, yeah, it's not even together all the way. And then just stuck it in this package. It does go back together all the way, I don't know why. It's been sitting in a uh, tote for a while, so. All right, here we go with the super treasure hunt. This is uh, back when they showed you they were treasure hunts, and then the supers had the dollar signs for the S's. So that's how you could tell the supers. It does have the real rider tires. But uh, whenever my family would help look for treasure hunts, uh, whenever they would find one, I would get them to sign the back of it and where, like, where they found it. Most of the time it says where they found it. This one just says when, August 29, 2010. Uh, given on, what? That must have been 729 if she gave it to me on August 1st. Maybe that was supposed to be a 9 and that was a 7, or I mean 8 and 7, or... Eight and nine. Anyways, happy anniversary. So yeah, that's back whenever I used to have help finding super treasure hunts. Uh, you can't, they don't know really what to look for these days. So, so this is a custom that I got. Uh, shot wheels, angry turds. Instead of angry birds. Yes, this thing's super ugly. And there it is. It's a picture of it. So weird. It's from the Pew series, or the Pew models. So funny. There's nothing on the back because it was a custom card and everything. But yeah, it's a turd on wheels. <laughs> so funny. Here's that one. Let's see. There's. I think this is a hard to find variation with the PR5s on it. Forget what the w normal wheels were on it. But I was told that the PR5s were hard to find on this one. It doesn't, you can see in the picture, it's supposed to have the mother type of wheels. I forget what they're called. So, anyways, Fair Lady TH. I do have some treasure hunts. Uh, I'll be getting to those in just a second. Uh, let me see. What about this one? Oh, yeah, you see some treasure hunts right there. You know, I had seven of these in my possession at one time. I've got this one, my son's got one, and I've got one loose. And the other four I traded off. And now they're like expensive or worth a lot more than what I traded them off for. So yeah, I found seven of these bad boys. So there's that one. This is actually my daughter's car. I wrote her name on there. It's actually hers. And this doesn't have the motorcycle in it. So this truck I found in a couple of different variations. Well, it wasn't. I found the black one, solid black with no windows. And then I found this one with no motorcycle in it. Yes, eventually they did take the motorcycle out of it, but this was supposed to have the motorcycle in it. And my other ones do. But yeah, that one didn't come with one, so that's one of my errors. There we go, found in Lake Jackson, Walmart. That's where I found it. So that one does supposed to have the motorcycle. Here's your Larry's Garage, Dairy Delivery. I've got that one up in my case, so if y'all didn't see, if you're joining late and you didn't see the first part of the video, you can go back and I show my Carney Plastics display cases. Yeah, huge dairy delivery fan. This was a custom that was made for my wife, uh, 2005 Secret Santa for Miss Loafer. Uh, somebody made it. She was into cars with surfboards so they made this one for her. There you go, that's who made it right there. This is from uh, hotwheelscollectors.com, this person. I've got their name down in a notebook, but I haven't been on that site 
as far as chatting goes in a long time, so I don't forgot everybody there. Sad. This is on an unpunched card, and this is not the 30th anniversary. As you can tell, it's really the high raker. So the 30th anniversary came out looking like this, but it wasn't really a high raker. So this one actually is, and you'll see on the back, it actually has the barcode, which 30th anniversary did not. So this is actually a real one. It's, it's dated 1979. So this one's on an unpunched card. It's never been hung up. So that's one. Of, I have to keep that one over here. All right, let's look at this one real quick. This is, I uh, found two of these in one case in Alvin Walmart. Let's see. Does it say found in pair? Yeah, there you go, Alvin Walmart. It's supposed to have the white tires front and back, and it's actually got a chrome in the front. You got the Larry Wood set. Oh, speaking of Larry Wood set, uh, my dresser's dirty because it's been a while since I cleaned it, so y'all ignore the mess. But there's Larry's Garage World Tour. All four cars up there. Anyways, yeah, so I found two of these errors. And yes, I do collect errors. This is a super. There's your uh, dollar signs on the S's. Got the real rider tires. This one was found by my wife back on August 7th, 2010. And she found this one also. We found uh, two of these. I found one when we were going out of town and she found one. I opened mine. Which, there it is, got the real riders. Back when all real riders had treaded tires, I miss those days. But these are when they were hiding them. You didn't have the green stripe anymore and it didn't say treasure hunt on there. You just had to look for them. So I think it should, I'm not seeing, oh yeah, there it is. There's TH right there, so. Anyway, she found that right before we went to Austin back in 2012, August. She found a bunch of triggers in August. Very fun. And my wife's about to be home. Here we go. We got this dairy delivery. I love this one. The mystery ones. I still have like... I think I got this one and two more still in the package. And then I got one opened up there in that case on the wall. Yeah, I love this one. Nice. And it does have the real rider tires. Nice. And let's see. Another super treasure hunt. This one, I, 2012. This was actually found by my daughter, Alvin Walmart. So like I said, I'd get them to sign them. I oh, I'd remember where they came from. This is an error that doesn't have no wheels in the front. I've got hundreds, I say hundreds, probably 120 error cars. But yeah, that one's pretty cool. I always like the missing wheel errors. Those are some of my favorites. As a matter of fact, Larry's Garage, check this one out. Missing the wheels, the rear wheels. This was fun finding. Normally the, the higher end, the nicer cars, you really don't find errors too much. Alvin Walmart. Yeah, I was getting a lot of stuff from Alvin Walmart for forever. Here's this one. I wanted this car forever. The Wild Weekend of Hot Wheels 2009. I finally got it. I will eventually open it. Maybe. Beautiful green, man. I love it. Love this car. 
Anyways, it's got some stuff written on the back. If you want to pause the video, you can probably screenshot it. Ooh, this is number 30. Oh, didn't even notice that. 2000. So that's a low number also. This one's from my buddy. It's actually signed from Ohio, Philip Rahman. 69 Chevelle. So my buddy from Ohio, uh, Chuck Hoops wanted me to open this very badly for a long time. He finally gave up on me because it's signed. I don't really want to open a signed one. And this actually has a few signatures. But I think Philip is the one that actually designed the 69 Chevelle. So I don't want to open that. All right. Here's a, I traded for this one. I've got one loose. And then I traded for this one. Super 57 Chevy for 2020, right? I think it was for last year. I don't, yeah, I don't, it's not for 2021, it's for 2020, I believe. There's that one. Uh, a lot of times going through the cases is how I found the air cars. What? Gramps. Hey, I'm doing a live video on YouTube. I didn't know. Well, I've never done one before, so I figured I'd try it. I've got two dedicated people watching, which I appreciate. Anyways, yeah, that was cool. Oh, Tiffaroo. I guess there's another super. What are you doing, Ma? Oh, you know. Tiff, you come in here, I'm gonna film you. A little bit of this and that. Oh, did you find this one? Who wrote this? Oh, who did write this? Is that you? Oh, God. Ha oh, ha look at that. Wow, 2012 from Tiff. You want me to show everybody who you are? Been a long time. I used to trade with you on Hollis Trade Site, like probably eight years ago. Tortoise Tom. I bet I've got your name. What was your screen name on HotWheelsCollectors.com? Same? Was it the same name? I, I have done a bunch of trades over the years. Probably 250, 300 trades over the years. And let's see. And then I've got this one. This is a, uh, this is back when treasure hunts were just treasure hunts. When you had rubber tires or didn't have them. Where, what have I not seen? You killed it? Okay. Anyways, oh yeah. This one either had red line wheels or the black wall tires. This one's got the red line wheels. And uh, I'm not sure which one was the harder one to get. Yeah, let's go with this one. Come on. Toys R Us Bone Shaker. Well, I'm sure I've got it somewhere. Actually, my son probably has it because he was, I mean, I was into the bone shakers too, but he was really the bone shaker person. And he still is. He, uh, we've got a lot of them, but uh, it's pretty cool that you can remember that, man. I, man, so many things have happened over the years. I don't remember. I've got like I bet I have your name written down in the in the notebook that I have of the, all the Hot Wheel people that I've traded with. I guarantee you I've got your name in there. And probably, like you said, what you sent me also. Anyways, this one's cool. Oh, workhorses. Let me uh, throw these in the box here. Or in, the, in the thing. So I'm not... I'm still here, so don't run off anybody. Here we go. We got this one. C-1000. 
67 Chevelle Super Sport. Man, this is sweet. I've got one of these loose. There's your TH on the front. It actually says treasure hunt on the back also. I just realized it's got both. Huh, that's interesting. Wonder if I've ever noticed that before. Anyways, yeah, this one's sweet. Oh, okay, this one. There we go. Oh, Dreadnought. Y'all, you guys remember Dreadnought? Super cool guy. Happy holidays from your friend. So yeah, any any like trades that I've done, or anybody when we used to do the RAOKs, the Random Acts of Kindness, all that stuff I've kept. It's somewhere. I mean, I've got it either in jammers or you name it. I've got it somewhere. So speaking of. Tiffany, the, the girl that just got home. We walked in on January 4th, 2020. And Walmart, my local Walmart here in Angleton, around 12.30 in the afternoon. And there was four dump bins sitting out. And uh, it was her 18th birthday, actually. And uh, we... Ended up walking out of that store. I found one of these on top of the one of the dump bins, and I'm like, oh, one of the dump bins were already there. But then they had put out three more, which having one dump bin at my local store is amazing. Having four is like once in a lifetime. They've never done it before. So we ended up walking out of there with 10 of these supers. And come to find out, my uh, brother-in-law had gotten two of them that morning earlier but he's not a hot wheel collector but he likes the jdm cars and so he found two of these and bought them gave one to his son his son opened it he didn't even know they were super treasure hunts so if he would have stayed there and if he knew what he was looking for he would actually walked out with 12 of these suckers but yeah we walked out with 10 i opened one i kept the two that she signed i had her sign both of them or did she sign them? Well, yeah, she signed up there at the top. But uh, I put where we found them, Hamilton Walmart. And then uh, I traded off all the other ones for a bunch of supers that I don't have. Uh, so I miss out on a bunch of supers. So, you know, I don't find them all the time anymore. So, you know, I'm the only one that looks. You know, my family, they don't know what they're looking for anymore because, of, you know, how hard they are to... They don't have the green stripe on them like back in the old days. Oh, here's that black truck that I was talking about with no windows. The air, you can see right through there. There you go. Well, oh, well, I'm live, so. What are you live on? YouTube. Tell him I said hi. Oh, he said hi. <laughs> okay. Text it to me. Anyways, yep. No windows. So, and yes, it's not. And I always take pictures when I find errors. I take pictures of the cars inside the store. Because a lot of people can come home and, you know, take the back and rub your acetone around the three and then peel the bubble and then do something to it. And then glue it back together and claim that it's a error. People have done that, but yeah. So I take pictures and sometimes videos. So it's still riveted together and everything. So, yep. Anyways, yeah, I don't, oh, don't like doing nothing like that. So I want it to be an honest find. So that's how I like to roll. Anyways, we have this 69 Camaro and it's probably, yeah, it is the Chase one, Philip Ramen signature down there initials or whatever so this is the chase piece the 69 camaro is just sick i love this thing he's larry's and phil's garage and wayne's garage those three man man those were a nice set back in the day this is a uh i forget where i got this but it's an exclusive of some kind of thing i'm not sure i can remember if you know, y'all can post it in the comments below. 
This is a super treasure hunt from 2011. You can see, again, the S's are, have the dollar signs. This is when my family would help me. They would know to look for the green stripe, and boom, you found the green stripe, you found a treasure hunt, and if you saw the dollar signs, you found the super, or, you know, so that's how I would get help back in the day. But like I said, uh, I don't have that. And this one, what's special about this one is uh, it's a 2011 super treasure hunt, and I wrote on here, found at Angleton Walgreens the day, and behind here, it says my sister passed away. My sister passed away unexpectedly on October 17, 2011. And I actually ended up finding this. Uh, we were in Walgreens for whatever, and uh, ended up finding it. So that one special, so that one's not going nowhere. This is one of your 30th anniversary cars, like I was explaining earlier. It's got the 30th and it shows you your cars for whatever. Like I said, huge 57 Chevy fan. This one's got the real riders, really cool. I like that one. Another uh, Larry's Garage, school busted. I don't know, yep, that one's got the signature or the initials there, LRW, Larry Wood. So, yeah. Those were fun to find back in the day. I ended up having this one a long time and I traded it off and I regretted it. And I ended up finally getting it back a couple years ago. So it's good to have this one back in the collection. It's not going anywhere. I thought I was gonna be able to get another one real easy. That's why I traded it off. Yeah, it didn't turn out that way. All right, this one. So what the cool story about this one, windshield, extra windshield. See the extra windshield floating around in there? So finding uh, errors on treasure hunts weren't really a thing that I was good at doing. I couldn't really find errors on treasure hunts. But when I posted this one, somebody posted one... I don't know, maybe two weeks later. And what was funny is they had this exact regular treasure hunt. It wasn't the super, it was the regular, just like this. And theirs didn't have a windshield. It, that was the error. And I'm thinking, dude, I have your windshield in mine. So I try to trade for that. I mean, I offered some good stuff for that car, and that guy would not come off of it. Man, I would have loved to have had that error to match this one. It'd been so cool, but it didn't happen. So, now, of course, I don't remember who it was that had it. You know, it's slept since then. It's been a while. I need to speed this up. This video is 38 minutes long. Super treasure hunt. Here's your dollar signs. Super ugly. I love the paint job, the colors. I love it. Love the wheels, the casting. Not so much, but to each their own. Look at that dust. So here we go. So this is a cool error. So see the front end right here? Just normal. This car is really happy. It's got a smile. Check out the front of this. Look at that. How it looks like it's a smile. So the metal. Let me see if I'm gonna take this one out actually. Uh there's a uh, front dread knock. Uh, Jeremy, there's, he sent it to me. Normal version in Jammer 77. <laughs> Check it out. And what's weird is how the metals deform, but the, it's not like it happened while it was in the blister. The blister's perfect. That's so cool, dude. I mean, yeah, so neat. Thought that was cool. Like, it hit something, but it also kind of looks like a little smiley face. <laughs> anyway, that's a cool, cool error. Like I said, love errors, man. For years, the first few years of collecting, all my errors went to a, my friend in San Antonio until I found the Drift King treasure hunt error. 
and I, I've got it put up, but if I ever come across it, I have to share the story. But when I found that one, that was the first time I'd found an error in the treasure hunt, and I was like, man, I want to keep it. Well, now, every time I found an error, I just keep them. And he was like, man, because he would get some pretty good errors from me from time to time. So me and my daughter went to the Legends tour a couple of years ago. Got one, got one of these each. Love this car. The green looks good. Yeah, the old Legends tour, but yeah, I've got the Legends Silverado too. Uh, not on the card, but loose. I've got one that's got the stripes and one that doesn't. Check out this air. Y'all ready? Now, this was given to me by a friend named Wayne. There it is, Eggert. Uh, yes. Riveted together. No wheels, front or back. I've got another cool air from him also that doesn't have the wheels in the package at all. And the body's unspun and parts are just laying inside the blister. Super cool. And then we get the Super uh, Maverick. This was uh, ch -ch -ch found in Alvin. My son found this one. Uh, like I said, if they find them, I had them sign them. That way I was, in, you know, for sure not going to get rid of them, you know, accidentally trade them off to somebody. I wanted to make sure that I kept them, you know. So that's what I did. Let me look at these two real quick. This is just the chase piece. It's got the uh, riding, the hot ones r riding on the tires. So if you found the riding on the tires in red or white, uh, you had the chase piece. This one, I'm trying to figure out what the story is with it, why I have it in a blister pack. It's got to be an error. Oh, I think it's a large, oh, yeah, it's all large wheels. That's it. Yep, all large wheels. So that one's a pretty cool error. Let me see. We're getting down to the end, guys and gals, or whoever's watching. I'm trying to stretch. So I'd love to have an extra one of these. This one's sweet. Uh, I need to try to trade for one. I did. I traded for this one. I actually didn't find it. So, uh, yeah, super mystery machine. It's a TH. It's the rubber tires. Actual treaded tires. We have a custom from Mr. Sensitivity. Yeah, yeah, square body. Yeah, this one ain't going nowhere. I kept it in the package ever since I got it from him. So you guys know him as the Masta. Uh, not the Master Loper, but the Masta. Everybody called him the Master. He does some good customs, man. But yeah, this is a really good one. And we got this little Mel in Zamax. Pretty cool. Another RLC. Uh, I think I ended up getting two of these. I think I've got one open somewhere. Can't remember. Yeah, sweet little truck. Let's see what number this one is. Oh, that's one pretty low. Number 58 of 9,000. Yeah, 00058. That's not bad. Pretty low. There we go. Let's go to this one. Oh, here you go. Uh, it's hard to tell. No wheels on the front. Pretty sweet. Traded. I traded somebody for this. I can't remember who. That's sad, huh? Unpunched. Original real riders. And a high raker. 3-1 to 34 Ford. Check it out. There's the high raker. I've already got a mint loose one in that case up there that I opened up. It's funny, man. I'm gonna check this out. What? 1982, and here it is, 2021, and we still get cars for that price, basically. So cool. So cool. Anyways, yeah, it's sweet. 
And of course, oh, let me stretch. All right, well, there's your 57 Chevy Treasure Hunts. And then you've got your 57 Chevy Treasure Hunt Super. So you see the S's, the dollar signs? Over here, they're not. So there's your difference between a Super and a non Super. Plus, you can tell the paint. Totally different Spectre Flame paint. Anyways, different wheels, of course. Got the Real Rider, Goodyear Real Rider tires on this one. But yeah, I've, I had, uh, I think I've got a total of four of these. So yeah, yeah, really cool. But yeah, that Spectre Flame paint's awesome. Let me see if I can reach around here and grab some of these. This one I'm gonna leave towards the end. Y'all probably just saw it, but that's okay. Here's the old Barbie Camaro. The old C7. Yep. Anyways, there you go. If you need to pause it to read that, go ahead. There you go. We have this, the old custom Mustang. In blue, sprinkled with dust. <laughs> there you go. There's that. You want to screenshot that? It's number eight eighty five of twelve thousand five hundred. Here's the original. Eighties real riders are the best. Yes, they are. I totally agree. I've got a uh, bunch of them. And uh, if you're gonna be here for a minute, I'll show you some. Uh, if you want to hang around, just let, let me know. That you're gonna be here, and I'll show I'll show it again. But yeah, check that out. 1982 Ramblin' Wrecker. That's such a cool casting. So this one. It, okay, so I've only been collecting well about 20. Let's see, 97, 23, going on 24 years, and uh, started in September of 97, and. Uh, so I was older at the time, but when I was 18 years old, I went back and bought this. When I was 18, check this out, homemade cake. I go by Joe, but Bobby's my first name. I don't even remember this cake. I remember the Hot Wheel, though. That's funny. 18 years old, I got a Hot Wheel, and it was this blazer. But I don't have that blazer, so I don't know what happened to my original Hot Wheels. You can see this is an old photo. So I had to go back and buy this. So I thought that was cool. So let's see. Let me show you these two, and then I'm going to show you. These two are identical. I got them from the Hot Wheels website. Just uh, remakes of the uh, original Heavy Chevy. And got the stickers and everything. Made it look authentic. I got the blazer. I'm going to be right now. Oh, yeah. have to check it out. Let's see. All right. So, if you're still here, uh, I'm going to show you some... Uh, glad I tuned in. Hey. Yeah, I'm still trying. I, I don't do them as much as I used to, but I, I do need to get back to doing them. I miss doing them. But let's look at some original real riders. Thanks for stopping in. So here we go. And like I said, all of these are blister pulls. Uh, I actually opened them up here on YouTube. So you could look for the videos. I do need the Gray Hub Byway Man with no toolboxes. I don't have that one yet. Uh, but yeah, like this, the three pack, I think it was, it came with that yellow one. I had the Jeeps, the High Raker Dodge. Like I said, all these are blister pulls, and I've actually just got two more of those orange Baja breakers that are mint condition, loose. I don't know. Uh, for some reason, I bid on one on eBay, and then I got one off of Facebook. But I was with my buddy in San Antonio. That was me who sent you the message on Instagram about the gray hub. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, yeah, there you go. 
Yeah, I'm, okay. Now I can relate who you are. Cool. Yeah, man, I'm, man, yeah, I saw that it sold for 45 bucks or whatever, man. I regret not bidding on it, man. I was gonna, so every time I bid on something, I always get outbid at the last minute and at the very end, and they'll beat me by a dollar, like every time. I'd bid on a couple of dairy deliveries. What was it? Which one was it? But anyways, literally every time I would lose by a dollar. Oh, it was the Frankenberry dairy delivery. So this time I waited. I was like, okay, I'll just wait and bid at the very last minute. Then I forgot about the auction. <laughs> so there you go. But anyways, yeah, there's those real riders. But... Yeah, I like my real riders. But anyways, yeah, this was a... Anyways, I thought this was just going to be like a short video, but it ended up being a long one. So, appreciate you guys tuning in and gals if there's any females here. And before I go, let me show you this. So, I traded for this one. I traded my brown one off for this one. C10. I like the blue one better, so I traded my brown one for this one. Now I probably need to go back and get the brown one because I actually liked it. This one, Mattel really did good on this. Man, you, it's really sweet. It's got like felt in here. Oh, I'm trying to look through my phone. I mean, this thing is sweet. Look at this thing. I should be wearing like gloves for this. And what's cool about this, if you guys don't know, you turn this button down here and it's like kind of hard. You turn it and it jacks the truck up. So you've got the, hey, no problem. Thanks for watching, Brad. So it jacks the truck up and then you turn it and it drops the wheels up underneath it to make it low. So very sweet, and I love the stroke. The blue and the brown's super nice too. So I'm probably gonna have to go back and get the brown one, but it does have the real rider tires. So cool how they made this. Very good job, look at the details, it's just crazy. Does that say drop, a, drop and roll or something? Yeah, drop and roll. Very nice, man. Mattel did excellent on this. So let me put that back in there. I should have wiped off the fingerprints, the greed oil from my hands. But anyways, the whole setup, man, is nice, dude. And it goes back in the uh, this little white box. Anyways, again, thanks for watching, people. I'm going to get on out of here. C10s are my favorite. Square bodies are my preference. Oh, hey, me too. That's, well, yeah, me and you've had that talk already. Yeah, square bodies are the way to go. Oh, I forgot to show these. Uh, this was a custom uh, from Augie, Doggy, uh, Woody's. So, Woody'sAdventure.com. This is John Rhodes, a.k.a. Augie Doggy. He does some cool customs, but uh, he sent this to me a long time ago. There's only 40 of these, and you can actually take it out, the blister. Super cool. Yeah. And then I forgot to show this one, too. I've already got this one up there in the case, Houston, Texas. I'm glad this one came out as a dairy delivery for Houston back when they did these. This is Woody's Adventure, the yellow Woody wagon. It's the orange one. So on their website, woodysadventure.com. Uh, I've already put it up, didn't I? But it was the High Raker 40s Woody in orange. Is uh, the one that's on his website that's actually traveled to like six out of seven continents. I think Antarctica was the only continent that it hasn't been to. And then he would send it to people... And they would take the Woody and take it to the national like landmarks and stuff and take photos. 
Oh, really? Awesome. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't never get to, but uh, his sight went away for a while, and I kept bugging him about it. He brought it back. Uh, I haven't went and looked at it in a while, so I'm not sure if he still has the sight up or not. Uh, he sh should have. I mean, I don't know. It was really a cool sight, and all the places that that, that one vehicle has traveled to is pretty cool. But, yeah, if you were a part of that, that's awesome, man. Yeah, I, I didn't get to be a part of that, and then there's really where I live. There's <laughs> nothing really to go show it at. Took it around in Louisville and Churchill Downs and stuff, probably too soon. Wow. Oh, cool. That's awesome, man. Yeah, old John, man, he's a cool dude, man. I've never met him in person, but uh, we've talked a bunch from uh, Hot Wheels website and just I think Facebook a few times. Super cool dude. Uh, yeah. So, and he always made some cool cars to take to the conventions and, and, and hand them out. So, the original KFC. Oh, oh really? Oh, that's cool. Oh, KFC. Yeah, this one's pretty sharp, man. Yeah, I got a... I don't know what time you showed up to this little video. But, uh... I got a bunch of cars, man, everywhere. It's a mess around here. This is my other cabinet. Or my other wall display. A bunch of RLC cars. Some drag buses, and of course, my 57 Chevys. Didn't know he had one. Yes, he, uh, yeah. Woody's Adventure.com. Woody, W O O O D I E S. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, bunch of 57 Chevys. Oh, and you said square bodies. These are all my, not all of them. These are some square bodies that I'm fixing to have to open. I just took them down, they got a bunch of dust on them. I'm fixing to open every one of them. There's some more right here. This is just like a like a bunch of junk in this closet. A bunch more square bodies right there. Back here, there's the green one. Yeah, I've got a dual green one. I've got the cupcake one. Got a bunch of dust on all this stuff. Some more square bodies. Uh, this is a square body, but it's a blazer. So, yeah. And, of course, yeah, they are, but, man, they're making so many of them. I can't even keep up, dude. And so, there's so many of them out there, and they're making them too fast to where I've lost interest in even trying to get them because they're doing it like the Hot Wheels did the drag bus. You know, that's why I ended up getting rid of all my drag buses. Most of them, not all of them. I mean, you see one there. I mean, I've got drag buses around. But, yeah. They just did way too many. M2 and everybody else. It's definitely hard to keep up. I can't find them all. Ooh, look at that nappy hair. Anyways. Yeah, that's my third display case. I actually got a fourth one of these cases in a box. Uh, I had my Hot Wheels room, and then my daughter moved back in. I don't have the Hot Wheels room no more, so I had to take everything out of there. That's why there's like 10 totes in my bedroom. I don't have nowhere to put this stuff now because I had it all in the closet, but my wife took over the closet when I moved it out, and now I don't have nowhere Budget for, yep, square for, yeah, really. Easy, yeah, exactly. And now I just bought, if you noticed on my Instagram, I just bought a uh, 2015 Camaro. So I'm not going to be buying as many. What? Well, you want to be filmed, Wendy? Um, I charge. Wow. Oh, there's jammers. You too? All my jammers are numbered. Uh, this is just some of them. This goes up to... Uh, let's see. That's 80. There's 86 of them in here, and I'm up to 100 and... 
30, I'm just started my 134th jammer. But I also got two of those that hold 48 cars, plus two of these back to back. There's another one behind it. It's got more cars. And while I have you guys here, let me show you all the cars. Cars. That's one drawer. Cars. iPhone cases. More cars. There's that Frankenberry. I finally got it. So I got it off of Instagram actually. More cars. Real riders. Redline Club cars. Regular cars. Uh, final runs. Yeah. Yeah, I might have a problem. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. And uh, you guys, thanks for watching. Look, more cars. There's more in here. And check out this. Oh, where is it at? Let me get to it. She got this bone shaker a friend of mine made. It's a... Yeah, check this out. Yeah, my son's room has got all my other jammers in it. I've taken up his closet too. And I've got more drawers of stuff back there, boxes. I mean, it's, yeah, a little ridiculous. But I don't want to take this stuff to a storage facility because... I don't want nothing to happen to them. So, anyways, thanks again for watching. I'll see you uh, on Instagram, buddy. So, I'm gonna take off, and uh, I'm not sure how to stop this, but I'm gonna try. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and I am out.